guys, we got this awesome pet bath on Amazon and it was less than half of what a normal industrial dog bath cost. We got this for three or four hundred dollars, which is still a little pricey, but if you've ever seen the giant stainless tubs that professional groomers use that you have to pipe into your plumbing, those run upwards of a thousand dollars and more. Um, this one's made out of plastic, but it has metal stand, a metal ramp to get up there. We took some concrete blocks and kind of reinforced that ramp and tub. If you have a small dog, it shouldn't be an issue, but we have really big puppies, so we had to make enough uh, sturdiness on there that we could get the big dogs up. The little drain hose lets us divert the water away as it comes out, and that's the ramp. And I'll put links to this in the description in case you want to buy one. But so far, it's great. Um, we're going to use it for the first time today. So I guess it's great. Here, it appears great. We'll see how it is in practice. It comes with these two clips to hook your dog up. Um, these little padded ones, which I think are supposed to go under their, their chest and their bum. But our dogs are kind of big, so I'm not sure we're going to be able to use those. It has two doors for each side. If you can see, they slide in and out. Um, and then we have a tray in here. This stand you can pick up and turn and it sits right on the ledge. So if you have a small dog, you have a raised little dais for them to stand on. Um, but for us, obviously, we don't necessarily need it like that. So what we're going to do is probably just scoot it up to the front and use that to hold our shampoo and things. All right, we'll take a video. Lulu is the first one to try it out. We got our puppy lick pad, which we should have peanut butter for, but we don't have any peanut butter because we're not moved into the house yet since it's under construction. So we're going to smear a, a day old Taco Bell beefy five layer burrito on there. I'm pretty sure that she'll like that. Well, no, something like that, I don't know. <laughs> uh, probably not how you're supposed to do it. No, I'm not at all. That's her... not how you're supposed to do it, but it's going to keep her somewhat from moving around. I will mess with that if you want to go get some beefy five layer burritos this week. Oh, I could just, yeah, I could just, just bring one out here, and then we'll like split it in half between the two doggos. Okay. Let me help you out. I have a feeling it should go something like this over the head. Good girl. This one's so cute. Can I have a Good girl. Where did you go? I don't know. I don't know what he was doing with all that. He was trying. He was trying, Bruce. Neither of us are professional dog groomers, so we don't know what the heck we're doing. Hey. 
go the girl. Put that around his neck. And then it doesn't give us much space. So I think what I'm going to do is I don't want you to get choked on here. Good girl. You're not going to need a pant. You're okay. So I'm going to put this. Definitely don't think this is how you're supposed to do it, but that's what we're gonna do. Hey, dude. You being a good girl. Well, she's like closed in, so she might feel a little safer. I think maybe. she feels a lot better in this than when we tried to do a bathtub. I got two half. I got two half readers already really good. Girl, have this. And there's no meat in it actually. Look all at it you. is is bean. All it is is bean cheese and. Right. I knocked this all excited. Good boy, Bubby. There we go. Okay. Let's see, tape it to a tree. Good boy, boy. You're such a good boy. All right. Good news. Look how quick this is going. I need to open my Ferminator brush. You want me to smear it on one side? Oh, this is the sticky side here. Yeah. Let me see. Put it on that side. Okay, so we'll want to brush her before we wash her. So do you want to do it when we're dry? Okay. Oops. Put it back right at the table for some. Yeah, it's not really for holding trash and stuff. I brought the Dremel out, but I don't know if we'll get that far with them. <coughs> well, I think this big piece might just fall into the water, honestly, as she bites into it. I guess you could stick it on top, yeah. That'll work. Good girl. Do you want me to put it in there when we walk her first? Or give her, she's going to eat this one too. Um, go ahead and give it to her now. She already sees it and smells it. That'd be me. Good girl. I broke it in the fork in the pieces, so she pulls on it. Like, hopefully Good girl. Good oh, yeah, this Perminator brush. They're a lot less expensive than they used to be. I remember when these first came out a few years ago. They were over a hundred bucks a piece. You can get them for ten bucks on Amazon now. I'll also look at that. That's pretty cool. Hey, she seems like she likes the enclosed area. She's not. She, she feels doesn't... way calmer in this. So, so far five stars. As far as a contraction to kind of hold her up, make her feel secure, not stressed yeah. out. Yeah. I the mean, we've thing... never done a review video before, but this just. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about this though is that the legs aren't really like wide enough. For, me. for stability. Like, uh, yeah, because I actually wanted to put, I had to put bricks underneath it just so that way if they freak out or if they move left to right, they rebalance. Yeah, gonna, they try to jump out. It's not going to wobble. It's not top heavy or anything. It's, just, it's not really wobbling. Kit. I'm leaning against it. She's moving around eating her PP5 layer and it's not wobbling. But I can see how if he gets freaked out and tries to jump out, this could, mm -hmm. this could go poorly. Maybe, yeah.
let her dry off before we put a harness back on her. But this mut really likes to dink until she chokes okay, herself. Please. So we don't want her to do that. No, not that way, Lou. Not that way. Go. And then you can just kind of clip her to the tree while she dries, I guess. I'm still rolling that sand, Lou. <laughs> oh, that's true. You can just walk her in the house. Come on, Lou. You got it. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Woohoo! Yeah. That's slippery. That's so slippery. Good thing I was holding on there. I need the leash around her. Where's the leash? There's one here. For him, he's so huge, we're gonna have to take this whole little thing out. Set it down here. Give him some more space. The inside looks pretty good. It's got a little bit of fur in there, but it's not clogging anything. Overall, bath time was a success. The tub most definitely held up. Got some fur in there. A little bit of suds. If you reach in here, the drain is really easy to pull all the hair out of. It drains out, so I'll rinse this off real quick. Um, everything's great. I'd say my only complaint with this was the ramp. It's, it's really wobbly. It doesn't really withstand big dogs and it kind of scares them a little. I think if the ramp were wider, more sturdy, and maybe had some guardrails, uh, something to make the dogs feel safer, they'd probably be more willing to use it. Right, and we completely forgot we bought this dryer. It's a professional dog dryer. It came highly recommended on Amazon. And I will also link that in the description. attachment heads, which is awesome. Oh no, 
four of them. It's a fourth one. It's got plastic to blow out. Has a hose. They have hose extenders as well, and you can hook up two back or not two vacuums, two dryers with a hose splitter if you wanted to with a little Y split. They have an extra filter, some instructions. Oh, and a glove that has a uh, rubber to pull the shedding out. That's awesome. Feels like it can house a decently strong motor. All right, let's plug her in and give her a whirl. Right. Put on this handy dandy shedding glove. That's like falling off of him. Yeah, now he has wet hair. Let's try it out.
great. Um, we used the Ferminator on them before we washed them, so there wasn't a whole lot of shedding coming out, which is great because normally without that Ferminator, it would be everywhere. Um, Lulu seemed a little scared of the dryer, so we didn't do it for very long. Um, we are definitely trying to work up her tolerance to this. As we do this more frequently, I'm sure they'll calm down. Kaiju loved the dryer. The dryer does have a heat option, so you can turn on heat so it's not just cool air. It, uh, it gets warm, but it's by no means hot enough to burn you. I tested everything on my skin first. Um, and the different brushes are great, but I would say that comb brush is probably more for finishing, I guess. I've never professionally groomed dogs. The main air valve was a lot more helpful as far as drying them quick and fast. Lulu, we didn't get all the way dry, but the, just the time we spent on Kaiju was plenty. He's nice and dry now, and they're very happy doggos, and very much ready to go chase some chickens, huh? What do you think? He's a good boy.